everyone, I'm Michelle Vilmer. I'm a DIY blogger and YouTuber. I'm a mom of two, I'm a wife, I'm an actor and a writer. Sometimes I crochet, sometimes I use power tools. Recently I wrote and created a blog post called Correcting Yellow Face and a lot of people have asked me about it and wondered how I did it, so I wanted to make this video. In Correcting Yellow Face, I photographed myself as Asian characters in movies that were played by white women. In case you're unaware, Hollywood has a nasty habit of casting non-Asians in Asian roles or just deleting them altogether. So I thought that I would speak to this issue in my own way. As an Asian American growing up, I wanted to see myself in television and in films. It's really offensive when non-Asians are cast in Asian roles, as if our race is just a cosmetic challenge that you can fix with tape and a wig. This was my way of kind of rewriting history and putting us back in. I am not a great photographer. I don't know shutter speed, aperture. Focusing is a big problem. The self timer, I kind of figured out. I held my headshot and focused on it and pushed the button and ran back. I had that one moment to get into character and place myself in a way that I thought might be like the picture. It could have been easier if I had somebody else telling me what to do. Initially, I just thought I would entertain myself and my sister-in-law because she's like art historian, movie buff. I knew that my stuff had to be on point if I was showing her something. So I did the first one, Olan from The Good Earth, and and I liked it a lot. Well, for one thing, you know, it's it's interesting to put um, to take a picture of yourself with no makeup and like put it on the internet. That's crazy, right there. I liked I liked that picture, and I don't know, it was like a potato chip. I couldn't just have one. Catherine Hepburn was a toughie. I had a hard time getting her expression right, and my husband was very sweet. He, he was reminding me, you know, honey, it's don't beat yourself up. It's Katherine Hepburn. Yes, she's in yellow face, but it's Katherine Hepburn. Myrna Loy was all about the glamour. When I was a kid, I loved black and white movies and I just wanted to jump into that world. I wanted the cheesecloth and the boas. Oh, I wanted the cheesecloth. So then I started to make a headdress like the one that she wore in Fu Manchu. And I went to the costume shop and I bought this thing, not quite sure if it's Southeast Asian or if it's like a carnival thing, like a Rio thing. I don't know whose culture can, want, can claim this, um, but I put these pom-poms on and I thought, oh, that's clever. And then I put it on and I thought, no, that's not it. That's not it. I needed to go to Chinatown. So I schlepped down to Chinatown and I showed the lady who worked there a picture of what I needed and she was like, oh, like that right there. I can wear this whenever I want, because I own it. This ain't no tiara. And then I just thought about being a crazy bitch. And I thought some crazy, crazy thoughts. So The King and I was banned in Thailand because it portrayed the king as kind of this idiot and not because Rita Moreno was cast as Tuptim. I don't think anybody ever had a problem with Rita Moreno doing anything, ever. Um, but because I'm half Thai, I really, I had to take this picture. I went to Thai town and I rented the outfit and I had a photographer there take a picture of me. Took lots of pictures of me. It was so fun. Then there was the Scarlett Johansson one from Ghost in the Shell. I'm not Japanese as far as I know, but I do know that there are tons of amazing Japanese actresses who could have played this role. It's too bad. We'll never see them. So this is for you my Japanese sisters. For the last one, Emma Stone in Aloha, I asked my friend Matt Dusig, who was doing my photoshopping for me, I asked him to take a picture of me um, down at the farmer's market. So I got all the clothes that I thought were similar to what she was wearing, but that hat, I could not find that hat online. And then I realized, of course, I need to make it. So I'll have to make a, a DIY tutorial on how to make this hat, but it's so stinking cute. Can you stand it? Built-in sunglasses, come on! Ridiculous, right? So I put all the photos together in a blog post and it went viral and it was so cool. All over the world, the UK, Australia, China, India, Thailand. It's, it's been amazing to see this touch so many people. Thank you all so much for supporting Correcting Yellow Face and for sharing it with your family and friends. I really believe that if we keep making noise in whatever way you make noise, we can make a difference. 
like and comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more DIY.